Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today we're heading into a new mission. This time it is going to be the Redstone Mines up this way. And then afterwards we'll probably go into the secret level, the Soggy Cave. I just wanna sort of keep things going for now though with the main level. So let's go to Redstone's Mine. And as you can see with this one, we're starting with uh, Default 4. We can't quite make our way to Default 5 just because we don't quite have the power for that. But uh, for this one, we do have at least one new piece of armor and one new artifact. Hopefully we can get one of those, uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and get started. We've been making some good progress with the game, but it looks like here's the redstone mines. They're mining for redstone, what do you know? There are unsettling rumblings in the mountains of the overworld. Whispered rumors say the Illages are building something dreadful far beneath these ancient mines, something of soot, metal, and flame. Only a hero such as yourself could brave the cavernous underground and uncover the truth. Ooh. All right, so this is already a pretty cool start then. I like this. So I'm hoping this will be like, you know, a mine, a cavern, a uh, abandoned mine shaft kind of style thing. I like the ice out this way, but it looks like this is a bit of a dead end. But we'll be doing our best to explore everything in today's episode, maybe do a bit of a better job now that we know that there are some secret mine levels that you can find, but maybe I've missed out on, I don't know if there's one for every level, but I will certainly try to find out because if so, I have a lot to catch up on. Uh, but yeah, we'll just sort of explore through everything and see what we end up stumbling upon. We already got a uh, zombie over this way, quite a few of them, and I haven't played in a day or so. I recorded like the first five episodes all at once. <laughs> that I was like, okay, I'm tired, but now I'm back at it, so I do have to sort of uh, get used to figuring everything out. But that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, over this way, we got some some zombies, and I am building up some souls for the tome that we have, but it looks like we have no secrets but seven chests. We'll have to see about that, but right now, boom, got some of that. And there's still some stuff over this way. Whoa, whoa, is this a, oh, this is a spawner. Okay, interesting, for sure. I think what I'll do then is, boom, explode, send some guys flying back and destroy that spawner as soon as possible. That could make things very problematic. We don't uh, get out there soon enough. Come on, come on, come on. That's it, oh, I'm taking some damage. No, wrong button, wrong button. <laughs> okay, what well, I gotta be careful of, that exact thing. So I don't have a ton of arrows, but I can at least work on this a little bit. I'm trying to just get to the spawner, but there's too many of them. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, got it. Wow, that was tough. Not too much else around this way, but definitely glad I got it. So yeah, we're just trying to locate some of the villagers and help them out. We missed out some emeralds back this way, so yeah, I just wanna grab those. And let's watch out for this guy. This guy has like a bunch of armor. Oh, and the TNT would have been helpful before, but you know what, I get to keep it for something better then. Okay, not too bad. Oh, there's some redstone mine carts. Oh, there's little cave spiders. Oh my, they're not fun to deal with. They can be poisonous. At least they are in, um, oh no! The, the alpaca got hit by the, uh, oh, there's a, there is a chest down here. Um, the alpaca got hit by the, the mine cart. Not the mine cart, but the TNT. Wow, that's not good. Uh, we'll have to be careful of that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wanna get rid of those cave spiders before they even have the chance to poison me. Um, but if we could just work our way through this and then boom, do a little bit of that and just keep slicing. But I gotta be careful because they are just all over the place right now. Come on, keep trying to just get through that. There it is. Not too bad. So that's the way I'm supposed to go, huh? Then I'm definitely gonna be a bit of a rebel and go this way instead. Luckily, we're building up a bunch of souls now. And that definitely helps with uh, going over this way. So yeah, those mine carts can hurt if we're not careful. Oh gosh, do it again. Wow, gotta be careful here. They're sort of everywhere right now. But that looks like all of the enemies taken out for right now, except for you. Ooh. Oh, they got me with the last arrow shot. That was just embarrassing. I have two lives left though. <laughs> Yikes. Let's get back out there and grab that apple and the strength potion, that'll be good. Yeah, not gonna let that happen twice. I, I sure hope not. I didn't really mean to throw that yet. I don't think that's actually gonna hit anybody. So that looks like about everything, but I think I need some better crowd control. So I'm thinking that instead of the tome, um, what I can do is I can bring out the fireworks again. I never got a better firework, so it's still level one, but we'll just try it for right now. There we go. And keep them out with this bow and arrow. The farther away I am from my opponent, the more um, damage it ends up doing with this uh, skeleton bow. Okay, oh, and he's he's raged, so he'll start fighting other people. Okay, so let's call in our friend there. 
Okay, not bad. Watch it, though. Now might be a good time to... Whoa, I guess I missed with that. Yeah, it went right over him. <laughs> That's not good. Watch it. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. I need to be careful and not get stuck like this. Oh gosh, ooh, that pickaxe might be better than what we currently have. That's good to know. Okay, I tried to toss it over. There's like stuff stuck over our heads, which is not making that easy. Okay, run, run, run. Getting you a little bit. So I definitely need some better weapons soon, I have a feeling. Um, it's been tough to get that so far, but we're working on it. Okay, that could have been better, could have been worse. I need to get the guy, whoever's enchanting everybody. Um, here's a poor villager working away. We are gonna help him out in just a moment. Got some extra arrows. Oh no, you're on our team. There we go, or you're a villager. You're not really on our team, but we need to save you. So let's save you two, and that's all we gotta do to get out of here. But we're not quite done. I wanna search around a little bit more and see if there's anything to find. It doesn't seem like it, but I'm curious to see if this leads anywhere interesting. No, it just leads back down here. Okay, what a shame. So I guess that's everything for this room. It doesn't seem like we've missed anything just yet, so we're gonna head out over this way. We found three out of the seven chests, and I do need some health, so let's just get that now. Also, maybe I should have taken the opportunity while I had it to uh, um, see what our new weapon was. This is a pickaxe, just a normal one, uh, but has 44 melee damage, opposed to 42 to 62, so is it really all that much better? I don't think so. Um, but I'll keep it in mind. I'll pick up that TNT, slice these guys up a little bit. Okay, not too bad. Now this area is looking a bit extensive. Can't really go down there. Um, hmm. Oh, let's just toss that like that. I don't know if that's actually gonna get anybody. I might get like one person. We definitely need that health potion once it's available again. But these guys, they fire really quickly. Trying to be careful about it. Hmm. Like this guy's tough. There we go. But not really finding, it really doesn't seem like there's actually any secrets around here. I thought that maybe they were just really secret secrets, but so far not the case. Okay, I really need the, uh, the llama to help me out with this one. Ooh, come on, come on. Got it. So very interesting level so far. I definitely love the look to everything. Just trying to be careful. If I could do a bit of that. That definitely helps, but actually didn't do too much damage to the actual spawner. Yeah, I guess spawners are something we have to be worried about for right now. There we go. Got our shadow form. Oh, oh, the one hit takedown, I got a critical there. That was great. I wanna see more of that. Okay, please stop hitting me with that stuff. I'll throw that at you. I don't know if that was the best idea, but it got rid of him, so. Evoker, oh no, oh no. There we go, that was pretty good. Let's keep at it, I'm getting some damage here. Oh, no you don't, no you don't. Help me out here, Llama. We're almost done with him, and we sent him flying. We picked up another pickaxe there. That one not as good, for sure. But we're making some nice progress now. Cave spiders everywhere, and I definitely wanna get rid of them as soon as possible. Got some extra arrows for it, so yeah, we're doing good with arrows. Why is that not hitting him? That's so weird. Oh, that's a very well-guarded skeleton. <laughs> Get all the tiny slimes. Oh no, back it up a little bit. There's just too much at once right now. There we go, clear all that out. Got a swiftness potion. Another skeleton trying to mess with me, not on my watch. You might be able to mess with these villagers, but you're not gonna mess with me. And I'm gonna try to stop you from messing with the villagers too, but I'm a little too late for that. There we go. All right, I do wanna say thank you though. Um, as of recording this, the first episode has gone out of the series and you guys have been really liking it so far and I really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching so far to the series. Hope you're enjoying it as much as I am because I'm really liking this game. Um, I think that you know the game has fully you know been out for a day since of you know recorded those first five episodes. So I've been able to hear other people's thoughts on the game, and it feels like the biggest complaint people have with this kind of game is that it's too short. And I can see that, but at the same time, this is the kind of game that you're supposed to replay multiple times over, try different loadouts. Also, I'm sure there's going to be a new game plus of some sort. I'd be surprised if there isn't. And we know that the DLC is coming at some point, so. I, I don't know, like I just don't entirely agree with that being the biggest criticism, especially with it only being like a $20 game. 
I think it's overall, it's a pretty good value for what you get. Anyways, let's go over this way. Okay, not bad. Sweet. So, what's going on around here? We got some creepers. Luckily the creepers aren't too, super strong. And we get level 16 now. Nice, so I will definitely apply those points somewhere um, if I can. There's a lot of guys out that way. So I have two points right now, so I could get a Wild Rage upgraded, or I could save some stuff up until three points. I This is max. So you know what, let's go ahead and get the Rage increased. There we go. Nothing too crazy. Oh, there's a chest here. I hope I haven't missed any chests. We're up to four out of seven though, and it seems like there's still a good chunk of this level left. If you see on the left, there's a little something there. Anyways, let's go for these guys. Remember those long distance hits? We'll do more damage with the spell. Um, new objective, free the villagers. I would love to. Okay, and we have 265 arrows, so we have a lot of um, an ability to just sort of get some guys here. So I'm just trying to try to find a big bunch of them. Most of them are running out of the zone though. Okay, who's down here? There's some extra arrows waiting for me. Thank you. Lots of extra arrows, actually. So there's our first villager of six. Here's another chest and more arrows. Did I just not pick those up before? Weird. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Watch it now. Gotcha. So let's get you really quickly. We'll also get that pork to heal us up. There's another poor villager working over this way. We need to save all of them. Not fair for them to be forced to work. What's funny is that there's way more pillagers than there are villagers. You'd think that if the pillagers just worked together and actually helped, they probably wouldn't even need the villagers to be trapped like this. This is just bad resource management. They should be outraged. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. What's going on over this way? Not too much more. That was all six of the villagers saved. I don't see any other hidden chests or anything. We do have to find two more of them somewhere. Okay. Well, so far I think I've done an okay job at exploring everything. I always try to be as thorough as I can. You know, it seems like I almost always miss something, right? That's not a chest, it's a barrel. And this looks very similar to a room we've been in before. Oh, the, the rage to slime sounds pretty good. There's a strength potion too, we'll grab that in a moment. Here's another chest. So this is chest six of seven. And can I make this? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, try to be more careful next time. <laughs> Get rid of that guy. Ooh, we got some stuff. That is some new armor. I think that's a, yeah, that's Spelunker armor. That's a new type of armor that I guess the, you know, the loadout screen when we were going into this level said that we could po potentially unlock. I'm glad that I, it doesn't seem like I've yet to be poisoned by these spiders. I would like to keep it that way. I don't like how they just sort of creepily crawl over. They're not even that quick. Okay, time to take out you. All right, that, that could've been better, could've been worse. Got some extra emeralds to get, and then we are moving over this way. Just gonna get rid of these guys as quick as I can. Oh, you know what? There we go. That could've been better. Yeah, this firework is definitely starting to fall off. I think that I might wanna change to the uh, fire arrows because this firework upgrade is level one, and it's just, it's not strong enough anymore, so. I might have to change that a little bit. It's only working against the weakest of enemies that we, we go against. Um, here, let's go ahead and do this. It's almost done. There we go. Now I gotta get out of here. They're trying to take me out. Luckily, I had some uh, shielding there because I used my health potion, and that's one of the upgrades we have for this armor. Okay, so, oh, I didn't even see the spawner there, but there's a wall in the way. So let me really quickly um, do that. And that's 16 instead of, uh, one, I think the, yeah, I think the fireworks are level one. Oh, so here's our chest. Wow, okay, cool. So let's back it up a little bit and then go for it. The only problem is that it's like not quite enough because it doesn't have a lot of spread. I would need the scatter uh, crossbow for that. Oh man, oh man, back it up, back it up, back it up. So this is a bit of a problem because I just can't get over here for long enough to destroy this. Okay, we got the shadow brute, wow. Okay, get that potion so we can get some extra shielding and just go for this for as long as I can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost got it, there it is. Watch it! Oh, I got cornered by them. That's one of the big problems with the dodge roll so far, is that you can't dodge roll through enemies. So if they have you cornered like that, you're done. And that is definitely uncommon for most top-down action games like this. Usually you can roll through enemies, because if not, you're just gonna get cornered like that. Anyways, as far as the map says, we've gotten every chest in the level, which is awesome, but also a little hard to believe. 
what is going on in here? There's lava everywhere. Here's the uh, arch elder again. Oh my. What happened? Oh no! Whoa, whoa, okay. Redstone gold on, but our, our llama fell through the lava. Here, come on over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Watch it. Ow, that hurt. Um. Okay. Luckily, my shield worked pretty well there. We're doing some damage to you. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. We have plenty of arrows just to throw at you. Oh man. Run, run, run. Come over here. Oh no. No! Watch it. Okay, what is going on with him now? We gotta be careful of that. That did a lot of damage. Come on, we almost got him though. We almost got him. Oh no, not into the lava. Wow! Our last chance starts in two seconds. Let's be careful. We almost got him defeated. Get that guy out here and got him. <laughs> that was tough. Leave the mine as a new objective. We got some new stuff though. So let's check that out first. We got ourselves a unique cave crawler armor. This is a good chunk better. Eight points better than our current armor. It has 109 health, 50% artifact damage. Ooh, plus 20% weapon damage, boost aura, and gives you a pet bat. Oh cool, so we get, like, do we get two pets at the same time? The cave crawler armor has been passed down through generations of brave spelunkers and miners. So we definitely want to try this out. Look at that, that is so cool. So we can get two pets at the same time. Um, um, we also got the rapid crossbow, which is the same level as what we currently have. Um, new reloading technology helps this crossbow fire more rapidly than those that came before it. So it has a higher power, or lower power, higher speed, and much more ammo. Um, yeah, I'll keep it in mind. Um, this I don't need, because we have this instead. I'm still on the fence about the pickaxe. It's 54 melee damage. This one's actually better than one of the other ones we got, I guess. Um, I'm tempted to try it, but we're, we're gonna wanna salvage this then. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye to that one just yet, so I'll hold on to that for now. But I think I will get rid of my wizard uh, robes in exchange for what we currently have. So we got a couple of things down this way I just need to get rid of. We don't need these. Or this. <laughs> Maybe this is something I can do once I get back, but at the same time, if it's in my mind now, I might as well try it. This is not as good of a fishing rod as this one. Same thing with this. There we go. Uh, so that's fine, that's fine. Now with all that out of the way, we are going to salvage this and get our six points back. As you can see. Uh, I can undo it for a short amount of time. I guess, if I wanted to. Not gonna worry about it for right now. Instead, we're just gonna upgrade this. So I can either do frenzied. What's frenzied? Uh, when you are at less than half health, your attack speed is increased. That's cool. Uh, we also get burning every 0.5 seconds. Um, damages all enemies in melee range. And then finally, uh, we have deflect. Grants a small chance to deflect incoming projectiles. I like frenzy, that sounds good. We also have either explorer, surprise gift, or speed synergy. When activating any artifact, you gain 20% movement speed for a short time. Yeah, let's get like full on like berserker here then. That sounds cool. So we have four points. I'm just gonna upgrade both of these then. That sounds cool. Excellent, so nothing else going on in this room. We still have more enemies to take down now. I guess I still have some more fire arrows stocked up. So yeah, we'll see how everything goes with that, with our new armor and our little bat pet. I don't think it does anything, like maybe it attacks? Haven't really seen it, it's, it's, it's very small though. No, it has a health bar, so I can only imagine it will. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. But we also have the llama somewhere. Uh, but that's just very cool. And I guess that's gonna be it for this level. Victory, so that was a lot of fun. The Illagers are building a dreadful forge under the mountain. Oh my. So this is sort of my theory. We thoroughly searched that level, and I feel like I thoroughly searched the swamp, but I never found those bonus levels until the second time I played them. So I'm thinking that for some levels, maybe if you only played at a higher difficulty or something, will you find the secret, or maybe it only shows up sometimes. Anyways, level complete, redstone mines. Um, we fired 321 arrows, pretty cool. Uh, we got down three times, 94% of the mobs defeated, 82% projectiles hit and 100% of the chests open. So for that, of course, we get one reward here. What artifact are we gonna get? It is the Corrupted Beacon. This is new. The Corrupted Beacon holds immense power within. It waits for the moment to unleash its wrath. What does that mean? So Corrupted Beacon right here. Um, let me put that over this. So it uses souls. Oh, interesting. Maybe if I already have, you know, familiar, maybe I don't need the llama as much. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but that is definitely interesting. So you can see this thing is uh, raged there. Doesn't really matter too much there. So I, I guess for right now, 
if there's not too much more I want to do with my emeralds, which I don't think there is, unless there's somebody to trade with around here, which I don't think there is either. Oh wait, there's a chest up here now. Oh, this is the lobby chest. There, there is a lobby chest. Um, yeah, you found a chest with 50 emeralds. We can claim that. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Usually in other games like this, there'll be a lobby chest, and if you open it, um, you can put stuff inside for later, so you don't have to have it all in your inventory. But I guess not. Um, for this game, that just gave me emeralds, which is cool to have, but uh, not exactly what I was thinking of. Anything else around here then? Not looking like it for right now. Interesting. Well, for the time being, we are going to, uh, I guess I could, like I feel like I, I wanna spend some emeralds, uh, because I have so many, I almost have 2,000. So let's go ahead and like open up three of each, three artifacts and three weapons. Lightning, harp, crossbow. Adding electrical energy to this crossbow changed the firing sound dramatically. Um, change, a chance to ricochet and multiple projectiles. Interesting. Um, also, daggers. And then finally, pickaxe. Nothing too crazy except for that lightning pickaxe then. Get a random artifact, the totem of shielding. Wonderful wheat, that's cool. And then finally, Death Cap Mushroom. Eaten by daring warriors before battle, the Death, Death Cap Mushroom drives fighters into a frenzy. Wow, that sounds cool. So we'll try that out. Is this better than the old one? Yes, it is, so we will salvage this old one for 20. It's not really too much that you get back for that. Um, this is about the same, but this one is apparently rare, while this one's common. Um, I can salvage this and that. And this is like, it's a unique, so I feel like I should try it. I mean, this is also a unique. Uh, so we'll try it and see, because, oh, this actually has a triple shot too. I'm tempted, this might just be better then. Um, I'll have to try it for a little bit. Maybe we could actually get back over this way. That is so cool, I want, I want to keep this one. So we'll salvage this, it's been fun, but salvage it so I can get my points back. And, uh, we can either do accelerate, fuse shot, or bonus shot. Firing a shot also has a chance, as a, fires a second shot at a nearby enemy, the second shot has reduced damage. You know, let's go for that one. Then we got growing, power, or piercing. I think we're just gonna do power, just increase the damage overall. And once we get another level up, which shouldn't be too long from now. Um, well, yeah, we're halfway to level 17. We're gonna make something work though. So for right now, let's do Soggy Cave. Um, Recommend power is 22. So let's start this mission and see how it goes. Oh, I never checked out the story for it, so we'll have to do that at the end. I I'm sorry, I always forget to do that for whatever reason. Um, okay, so this is Soggy Cave. It's a uh, bonus level for Soggy Woods or Soggy Swamp. This seems really cool. Oh, I love that. I, just, I love the noise it makes. I like that spread shot. I think we'll be strong enough to handle this quite well. Well, can I go on the trees? Not really, okay. Oh, I see that guy way down that way. Yeah, it'll just sort of fly off to a random opponent. As long as it makes its mark. Actually, did I miss stuff before? I suppose I did. Okay, well, this is gonna attract a lot of opponents. So I'm working on this as much as I can. Oh, this guy's tough. So, there's some kind of indicator. I guess the purple is frenzy, the pink is protection. Okay. These guys are tough. They take a lot of damage. So I guess our bat friend has been helping during all that. It's sort of hard to tell. We did pick up a cutlass that might be better than what we currently have as well. But anyways, there was stuff back here, supposedly. I mean, I do see this up here, but how do I get up there? I know I could, ah, oh, do that, but that's only gonna get me so far over that way. Weird, isn't it? Um, I can't even get onto the stock and I can't physically go past that. So I don't know how you get up there. I would imagine the trees, but I don't know. Let's try again with the trees. Yeah, you sort of kind of can, but I can't make that jump. Weird. Maybe I'm not supposed to get up there. I don't know. There are some still some like weird little quirks to this game I'm trying to figure out. I'm just not really entirely sure about. Let's eat this so we can get some of our health back. Because I don't see a way to get over there from here either. Oh well, I tried. 
back over this way. How many, we have two secrets and one chest to find. Okay. But yeah, the bat's going out there and fighting, so that's good to see. So maybe I don't need the llama right now, if we have the bat. Wow, whoa. <laughs> okay, doing pretty good. But yeah, I don't mind doing multiple of these levels in one episode, seeing how they are secret sort of bonus levels, I guess. And I'll try to unlock as many of these as I can find. Uh, for right now, though, I did want to see. Our cutlass is looking a little bit better. Interesting, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for later then. Oh, baby zombies. Want to defend against them. Oh, there's so many of them too. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I'm stuck at the moment, but let's try, wow! Okay, okay, turn that off. I didn't mean to do that one, but that was that was the, uh, the beacon. That was awesome! I wanna see more of that. I was gonna try eating this, because this sends me into a uh, mushroomized frenzy, where I can just go crazy on everybody, but only for a short amount of time. I'm sure that like there has to be some kind of downside to it, like maybe I'm more vulnerable or something. I'm not sure, but these guys are trying to throw poison at me. I don't appreciate it. There we go. Wow, so I can't wait to let that beacon, just like let it rip on a boss and just go crazy with that. Gotcha. Not looking like too much more. So let's go ahead and go into this cave. Here we are, okay. Ah, <laughs> that is so cool. And it doesn't even use up that much souls for how much damage it's doing. So there's definitely some uh, crazy stuff going on there. So I can use this uh, mushroom quite often. Over this way, there is another door already. What is this? This is just like a whole different area. So this is like a maze. This one doesn't have anything I can really access at the moment, but I will keep that in mind. Yeah, that is weird. Uh, What about this door? This door leads here. Once again, it's closed. I can't quite reach those, so I'll have to come back some other direction. Explore the ruins. I'm trying, so we have to get to that door somehow. It's all closed off right now. Interesting. So yeah, let's try this door. And this one seems to lead a couple of different ways. I like this. This is a proper puzzle. Nothing around here then. Oh, oh, okay. What's happening? Enemies, maybe? Yep. Gotcha. I'm handling them pretty well so far. Oh, no, you don't. So this is where we'll use our mushroom a little bit. Toss that over there. That'll get a good couple of them too. Good placement with that then. Getting lots of souls, almost filled up with that. So I can do a little bit of that. Boop. <laughs> I love that. Boop. Okay, it doesn't really work too well on inclines and declines and stuff. Gotta keep that in mind. Most of the range abilities don't. So what's this way then? We got some uh, redstone stuff. Oh, it's like a puzzle. Are these the only two buttons I can press? Aha, there we go, I did it. So that lowers that door, but as we, oh, thought I could make my way over that way. As we already know, that leads to somewhere we've already been. So honestly, a lot of this was just a big circle. Interesting. But now I know. So back through to that. And we will try, not that door, but this door is like our only one that we haven't tried. Yeah. Hmm, maybe we have to solve both of the redstone puzzles though to get to where we're trying to go. I guess that's the idea. But I haven't found any of the secret chests or just any of the secrets in general. I'm a little worried about that one. Hopefully we stumble across something soon. Okay, so here we go again. As soon as the enemies really start popping up, that's when I will uh, be more willing to eat the mushroom and just go crazy on them. We do have like full souls here, remember, so I can, uh, do that, oh, okay, potion, potion. That was actually almost really bad. Because it still takes some time, especially for these bigger enemies, to get rid of them. So there's still like a moment of vulnerability, but it's still the coolest thing we've ever done in this game. Okay, there we go. So we're out of souls now. Maybe went a little too crazy with it that time, but I think that would be awesome to use against a boss fight. And that was everybody. Not too bad then. So here's another one. This one's a bit more complicated. As you can see, lifting one will lower others. So it's all about, but it's a different one every time. So that's where it gets like a little confusing. Cause you just never really, 
Okay, so I guess it'll always be... Huh. Okay, I got them all lowered. If I can get them all lowered, then I can get them all raised, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to find like the rhyme or reason of like what's going on here. Uh, and I have no clue. <laughs> oh, there we go, I was gonna say. I don't know what's going on here, but I got it. <laughs> Very lucky. And let's go through this. And there we go, so I guess that means that maybe the final door is open. Let's find out. Yep. So let's go into here. And ooh, we got a very fancy chest for that. Whoa, so we got a cutlass, a soul healer. Explore the ruin. So we're not done, okay, cool. I thought that was gonna be the end of it. Not quite. Yeah, I don't see too much else going on around this part. Uh, hmm. All right, then I guess we're good. Where is this door gonna lead? Return to the boat. So I don't know if there's gonna be too much more here then. That's the boat. Oh, so that's, I see now. That's what that was. So we're back out this way, but it, it's like counting as a, it has a new area. There are more enemies though, so I might as well just make the most of what I got here because, you know, we're almost at our level up. I just wanna keep going before we're done for today's episode. That was the area we were at at the beginning. It's funny that's pointing me off to the right again as if it wants me to totally loop around. But yeah, it would have told me I didn't get rid of all the enemies when I technically did because of that. Isn't that weird? Um, anyways, we do get a level up there, which is awesome. Yeah, things I'm trying to get, like, get the level done again, which is funny. There we go. Because it's pointing me back off into the dungeon again. <laughs> I'm not gonna go all the way that far. Actually, oh, it's destroyed now. So interesting, they did they did keep that in mind. So maybe, the, I guess this is all was intentional. Um, watch, why did I fall that way? I tried to roll and it just threw me. Weird. Um, pick that up. There we go. And I will use the, the mushroom again. But that seems to be just about everything to me. And apparently we found the two secrets. Interesting. Okay, well I did what I could. That was a lot of fun for sure. Uh, but yeah, we got two levels done, a main level and a secret level. We also have to read the story parts to them. Sorry I didn't do that before. I'll try to be better with that. Yeah, let's go to the boat. Victory! All right, so that is another secret bonus level done. Whenever we don't have one of those to do, we'll replay an older level to see if we can't find more secret bonus levels. I'm just, I'm sorry that we just haven't done that very well recently, but either way, Soggy Cave completed, um, 87 items used, 100% uh, of the chest open, 103% projectiles hit. How do I do over 100%? Who knows? Um, but there we go. And let's see what we get out of this chest. Hopefully something new. Whoa, the totem of regeneration. This handcrafted wooden figurine radiates a warmth like that of a cackling or crackling campfire, healing those who gather around it. Interesting, so let's just take a quick look at that. And everybody around here will get heals. Tempting, really tempting, but I, I like my current setup. I wanna keep jamming out with that for a bit. Um, I gotta wait for the cooldown though to change that. But yeah, before we're done for today's episode, we're gonna go back over here. And the yeah, next episode we'll be doing the Desert Temple or the Fiery Forge, I think we'll do the Desert Temple. But I did wanna read the story on Redstone Mines. The end of the line. The Illagers have finally accomplished their goal, to tear the Redstone from the very heart of the mountains. With that kind of power, no one in the overworld will be able to stand in their way. Time is running out to stop the Arch Illager before it's too late. And then over this way we have the Soggy Cave. Um, the Lost Ruins. There are plenty of treasures hidden in the Swamp's Caves. Claim them before the Arch Illager can. So yeah, next episode we'll be doing the Desert Temple and maybe I'll replay Pumpkin Pastures to find some kind of secret here. That would be cool. But yeah, with that being said, uh, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.